Hey, it's Cosmo again, Cosmo's Black Dog Outdoors. Today we're gonna paint decoys. These uh, are the old Aquavac decoys and I had repainted them once and didn't use good paint and you can see that it's pretty, pretty junky there. But uh, they're probably 20 years old, they don't make them anymore. I've got a lot better looking decoys, but when we hunt the ice, Sometimes there's a hole and these are flat and, they, and I can set them up there and they're still tied up to their lines so if the ice melts or the wind blows them back in they're just floating and they don't get away from me. So I really do like to use these. Well that just looks bad. So I just take an old dive knife, it's not very sharp, and scrape, scrape the paint like so. And you see that really gets it off there well. And then I take a, a wire brush and go after it. And then I'll, you know, really get in there and scrape it. You don't want to cut the decoy, but you want to get all that old nasty paint off of there. So we pretty well have all the loose paint off of there. Then you do the head as well. So all your loose paint is off, and I like to get any oil, dirt, grease, nasty, anything off of there so that the paint will hold well. And I just use Coleman fuel because it off gasses and gets off if you can get, get actually get the lid off. Should have a little kid do that. You just wipe all that off of there, and it dries fairly quickly. And this is a distillate paint, and it's uh, compatible with this, so it's okay. Uh, but I do, I'll take a, a paper towel, clean that off. So there you go. This is a Flambeau UV Vision paint. And decoy painting is kind of a lost art. Not very many people do it. They just chuck them and, and buy new ones. But as I said, they don't even make these anymore. So I certainly want to preserve them and keep using them. And it's a bit of a paint by numbers thing because the, the feather detail is already there. So it's not as though you have to be an artist. And sometimes you have to do two coats. A lot of times this paint dries quickly enough you know it's it's warmer now it's summer so if it if it's drying quick enough you can actually go back and hit her with a a bit of a second coat uh, before before you put it up and you don't have to actually go back and redo each and every decoy now on this particular style of decoy since the head comes off I do the body first and then when the head's done I just pop it back in the decoy and let it sit and it dries without getting paint all over the floor. It's pretty simple. I just got the brush it at a craft store and uh, I think I got it at Hobby Lobby actually and uh, it's pretty pretty easy to paint with and I've done this quart of paint is done like 45 50 decoys so and I think it was like 19 bucks so it's it's pretty economical to paint them. You want to watch those ridges because you can get runs and you want no drips, no runs, no errors. That white really pops and even in the, I think almost especially in the on the cloudy days, but on the sunny days too, it, it really stands out and they can see it from a long way, a long way off. So the body's done. Just kind of set that aside a bit. And you just run around here and follow the feather detail for the head. And by the time they get close enough to see a perfect paint job, you're probably already shooting at them. I got a little drip there. Try to be neat about it. Because the whole point's to make a good looking decoy. So now the head's done. I just thread my tagline 
there through set him down done deal this is one that I have done earlier and uh, so it looks good it's a good looking decoy you can see the white on there it's fresh and clean and new and ready to go so uh, UV vision flambeau paint Coleman fuel some kind of scraper a little could be a steel brush but this one's this one's brass I uh, scrape the old paint brush it down use the uh, Coleman fuel to uh, clean it off let it dry use the flambeau UV vision paint paint them up got brand new decoys I'm not sure how much I can't remember exactly how much that cost like 19 bucks or something so for $19 I made 50 60 decoys uh, look really good and I still actually have some paint left over so I hope this project is one that you can you can utilize and we'll have more coming so if you like these projects and you like any of the series that we're going to do uh, go ahead and subscribe it'll notify you when we get when we get a new video up and we hope that this helps you with your waterfowl hunting cosmo with cosmos black dog outdoors see you next time